in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the ultimate dopamine detox. So what is dopamine and why is it important that we regulate our levels of it? Well, look at it like this. Dopamine is the hormone that drives your motivation. And the fundamental motivation of the human animal is that of moving towards pleasure and moving away from pain, right? Dopamine is what motivated our ancestors to go and binge on that fruit when they found the fruit tree in the middle of nowhere and they didn't know where their next meal was coming from, right? So dopamine is what moves us towards taking a certain action. Now, what we face in modern society is a hijacking of our dopamine reward system because there's too much stimulus in our environment. All these companies, whether it's the social media companies, whether it's the food companies, whether it is the porn industry, whether it's the video game industry, whether it's the TV industry, all of these companies have hijacked our dopamine reward system because each time that we engage with their products, then we are rewarded with this dopamine spike. And the more dopamine we experience with that short term gratification without actually having to do any work, the more hijacked our system gets and the less motivated we become to actually do the things that need to be done that will move us towards where we want to go rather than doing what we can get instant gratification from right here in the moment. So it's very important to be aware of what's going on in the brain, because when you look at your social media, when you look at, when you play a video game, when you consume porn, then you experience this jacked up levels of dopamine, which give you a reward and your brain is basically wiring itself to favor that reward in the future. And the more you do it, the more wired your brain will become to favor that particular reward. So the first step is obviously awareness. And I'm going to be sharing with you the ultimate dopamine detox that I actually experienced yesterday. Okay. So it's very important that you detox your dopamine because that is what will drive you towards doing the things that you know will move you towards your goals rather than procrastinating, rather than delaying, rather than not even doing the things that you want to do, but you still do them. Like you want to quit porn, but you still do it. You want to stop watching so much TV, but you still do it. You want to stop looking at your social media so much because you still do it. And the reason is because your dopamine reward system has been hijacked. And now that you're aware of it, you can begin taking the steps to actually rewire it back to its original factory setting so that you can program the reward system within your brain to favor the things that will allow you to move towards where you want to go rather than go towards where these companies want you to go to put your attention with their products so that they can continue making more revenue. Okay. So yesterday I went into a float tank, right? I heard about this on Joe Rogan's podcast and he said that it was the ultimate personal development tool because it basically just, it's you and it's you. It's like a very extreme form of meditation in a lot of ways because of the fact that you're not feeling your body at all and it's you're only experiencing whatever's going on. It's like your brain detached from all the input of the body. Right? It is a sensory deprivation tank because it deprives you of any stimulus coming in from the outside. So it's this huge tank and you go inside it. There's like this uh, fluid inside, like the salty fluid, Epsom salts in it and you basically close the door and it's pitch dark like if you open your eyes it's as dark as when your eyes are closed and you don't really feel anything you're in that water you're just floating there you have earbuds on you don't hear anything you can't see anything you can't taste anything you can't have any stimulus coming into your sensory organs right you can't feel anything you can't taste anything like i said and it's just you with yourself and this can be very difficult for people. I had a friend who said he could only do it for like 10 minutes. I personally did the person, the session is 90 minutes long. I did it for 90 minutes and it was a great experience. I'm going to do two more, uh, two more challenges, two more sessions. It's called like the three day challenge. I actually saw the post on Instagram and that like a challenge, but I digress. The point is that whether you have access to a sensory deprivation tank or not, like personally, I meditate every single day. I deprive myself of any stimulus coming in and just spend time in my own silence and listen to silence for like 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night. But 
based on the people that I've talked to, like people that were in the area that had experienced the sensory deprivation tank as well, they said that it's great for them because it allows them to disconnect. Now, personally, it was a similar experience to meditation, okay? I personally did not experience some profound benefits, but based on the people that I was talking to who actually went inside it, they described some profound benefits. And when I questioned them further, they said that they want to be meditating, but they don't do it. So then they show up for these sensory deprivation tank sessions again and again, so that they're basically forcing themselves to go into that state without stimulus coming in, whereby they can rewire their dopamine reward system. Okay, they didn't say that they want to rewire their dopamine reward system, but it's really an avenue for you to get relaxed because there's so much coming in and then all that information coming in is going through here and you're just taking more and more. But if you just spend time with yourself without anything coming in, then it's like it's like defragmenting the hard drive of your mind. It's more like to d absolve yourself of brain clutter. Right? It's like defragmenting. It's like you open all these tabs on your computer, open all these tabs and you're just like taking up the RAM, it's taking up the space. And then when you're meditating, when you're in your space of silence, then you're basically just removing them. All this stuff in your subconscious is disturbing you and here's why it's disturbing you. Because you've got all this clutter. So let's clean this shit up. Clean it up. Get it together. And it's been responsible for, I think, a lot of my focus and discipline, like understanding the, the significance of that focus and discipline. So that's what I did yesterday. Now, personally, would I do it again? I mean, I signed up for a three-day challenge, so I have a sunk cost fallacy going on. I'm going to go do it. But at the end of the day, it's the same thing for meditation. Like, I'm disciplined to the point where I meditate every single morning, every single night. I've been doing that for, like, last couple of years at this point. I think I extended it to two days within the last year. But before that, I was meditating at least once every single day as well and very disciplined with that. So for people that are unable to actually get themselves to do the right thing, to pay a deposit for the float tank and then they just go into it, then it's great. I mean, if I had one at my house, I'd probably do it like Joe Rogan, who has one at his place. He does it every single day, I think. But it definitely is an avenue for you if you're not experienced with meditation, if you find it difficult to meditate and you find it difficult to spend time with yourself, then forcing yourself into that experience through the sensory deprivation tank can be an avenue for you to explore. But whatever it is that you can do to deprive yourself of stimulus coming in and really schedule that into your day, whether it's a sensory deprivation tank, whether it is meditation, do it so that you can rewire your brain and have more control over your behavior. Okay, it's all a practice of self-control because when you're sitting in your place of silence, your mind will try to distract you, try to tell you to go somewhere else. But when you practice that control and make it sit to a certain point of time, then you're basically disciplining your mind and letting your mind know that you are in charge and that your mind is not in charge. Okay, so just a quick video for you. And I hope it has been valuable for you. The key takeaway should be that you should schedule in a time for this dopamine detox to take place. With all that being said, this has been Mo and I will see you in the next video.